Well, winter wheat seeding is starting in many areas of the country. And if you're putting in some winter wheat, we strongly encourage you to take a look at using a pre-emerge herbicide. Well, there are several pre-emerge herbicides to talk about for wheat you can put out that will kill the weeds and not hurt the wheat. And that's been one of the things that we've really been lacking in the wheat industry is something that I can put out early that'll hold the weeds down so I can get a good crop established. Yep, well, the two main products that we wanted to get to here, one is primarily for grass, but it also has some broadleaf activity. And the other one is just a broadleaf killer. That broadleaf killer is Sharpen. You've probably heard of Kixor that's been advertised. Well, this Sharpen from BSF is a very good product on just about any broadleaf that's out there. Problem is it doesn't control any grass and grass is generally the biggest issue that we have in winter wheat. That's where we talk about Prepare. Well, Prepare has the same active ingredient as Everest. It just doesn't have the crop safener that Everest 2.0 has. But when you're using it pre-emerge, that shouldn't be a big issue for you. Prepare does a nice job controlling foxtails, wild oats, and it also has some activity on the brome species too. So things like downy brome, you can do a good job suppressing them with Prepare. Well, one of the problems though with Prepare is if you get real high rates, and let's say you have very high pH soil, it's possible that you could ding up your weed a little bit if you're going into overlap situations and around end rows potentially, if you don't have automatic shutoffs on your sprayer. So we worry about that just a little bit. We just don't want you to overdo it. But it's that way with any pre-emerge herbicide that you use, whether it's Sharpen, whether it's Prepare, whether it's anything Well, out it's there. the same with post-emerge herbicides, Brian, too, oh, that's because true. That's if you true. overlap, you're going to have some issues in those spots. Right. So what we want you to do is keep your rate relatively low. 0.3 ounces is the labeled rate. A lot of times guys are just running 0.2 ounces, so then they're only spending 4 or $5 an acre, especially if this is your first time using a pre-emerge herbicide. And you say, well, boy, I'm worried about the cost and the return on investment and everything. Just use the lower rate, the 0.2 two ounces, you'll have a little bit better crop safety or a little fewer concerns with crop safety. And then yes, you're not going to get 100% of your weeds, but you're going to really slow things up. So post-emerge, you don't have nearly as many weeds to control. Well, here's the big thing. It's not a, I'm going to use this pre and then I won't have to spray post. No. Don't get that misconception. You're going to use the pre as part of a planned program where you are still going to use a post-emerge herbicide. So why would you, I do this if I still have to spray with a post? Because you've got great weed control early in the season and you can get that wheat crop established better. Your stand is going to be thicker. You aren't going to have all that competition from early weed pressure. And plus, you won't have to turn right around and spray in your wheat. You know, when you think about putting that pre-emerge herbicide out, it's going to buy you some time. Now. Will you still have to spray this fall later on with something like a Power Flex or a Maverick or Olympus Flex or something like that? If you have a heavy downy brome pressure field, absolutely. You're going to get your best control that way. But you're going to be able to go harvest other things or do other things on the farm and then come back later on and do that. You won't have so much weed pressure as you mentioned, Brian. You'll thin things out a lot by using that pre. It is a good return on investment. I know the universities have been seeing that and many farmers have as well. Well, it comes back to that return on investment thing. That's how I look at everything we do on the farm. And if I'm putting that pre-emerge herbicide out, whether I use the 0.2 ounce or the 0.3 ounce, I'm getting a return on investment because I'm getting more yield. If you allow any weeds to come up and then you spray them, you've already lost yield because those weeds have robbed water and nutrients from your crop and you don't want that. So if you don't believe anything that we're telling you here today, just at least try some on your farm, run some strips, do some half field comparisons, whether you're using Sharpen or you're using Prepare, try a pre-emerge herbicide in wheat. It's something that we do not want to raise wheat without. And speaking of weed control, here's our Weed of the Week. Can you identify it? 